All right, Shalom, Yah Shalom. Welcome back. Before I get going into this lesson, I want to give all the praises to Yah Bashim Yah Shai. The Wadi Yah Bashim Yah Shai, give me the spirit to go into it. I pray it be edifying through the Holy Spirit, Rukakudash. The belongs to my teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone. Honor to all the men as I have laboring within this ministry, helping to push this truth. I right, push this vibration of repentance in the kingdom of heaven, in the spirit of prophecy. This lesson, I want to talk about the fact that, you know, we, being the servants, being the men of the Lord, have to be and had to be uh, rejected. All right, this uh, this testimony that we hold, all right, it had to be, or have to be, it has to be, you know, rejected amongst men. I was inspired to just do this quick, short lesson on this as I'm going through the uh, the Gospel according to Saint Luke, and I got to the ninth chapter, and as it says in uh, Luke nine and twenty two, it says that. In fact, let's start up a little bit. Because everything is going according to according to the story, man. Like, you know, the Lord's story is, is actually playing out. Everything is on is on point. Everything is on schedule. We gotta keep that in the back of our minds that, you know, nothing the most high is the, is not the author of confusion. St. Luke chapter 9, verse 20. 20, he said unto them, But whom ye say that I am? Peter answered and said, The Christ of God. And he straightly charged them and commanded them to tell no man that thing, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and be raised the third day. See, the Lord was coming in the spirit of prophecy, right? He said that he had to be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes because these were the, the leaders of Israel, right? And so the leaders had to reject them. Which, well, it began with the leadership, but from the leadership on down, for the most part, the most um, Yahweh Shai had to be rejected because that was a fulfillment of the, the the word written by the prophet Yeshaya, all right, Isaiah. So this is uh, Yeshaya 53, verse 3, it says, he is despised and rejected of men. You see? Let's read that again. He is despised and rejected of men. It's talking about Yahweh Shai, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Okay. So the scripture says that you would be hated of all men for my name's sake. Right. So us coming in the same spirit of Yahweh, we come in in his same stead. Right. So it's only natural that we be despised and we be rejected for the most part, beginning with, you know, the leadership of our people right? in this world, the uh, those that have money, that have status, that, you know, have the glory of this world on down, for the most part, they're going to reject us. This is why the Lord prayed for us in uh, John, the 17th chapter. He said, I pray for them, you know, that, that, that are going into the world, roughly paraphrasing. They, they're going into the world. You know what I'm saying? I pray that you're not, you know, basically, let's get that. John 17. But this is why the Lord prayed for us, because this was a prayer that he made for us in these times because we are coming in his same stead, you know? So just like he did it, now it's on us so that we can suffer with him and reign with him as the scripture says. This is uh, John 17. Verse 18, it says, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Verse 19, and for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, all right, those who would be his, his disciples, his teachers, all right, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. So those that are of you that are listening, that are not teachers, that are just listening to our videos and you're being fed, being edified, you know. So the Lord is praying for you too. So he's praying for those that went out with the testimony to teach and those that will hear those men and believe on him through that word. You see, my sheep hear my voice. This is Luke 17, 25. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. So Yahweh Shah was re rejected of that generation and that same generation is here today, right? That's what the Lord said that. Let's go to Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and verse... 34 it says verily i say unto you this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled and we know that all the things written in matthew 24 which is an extremely prophetic chapter these things didn't take place 
during that generation that was on the earth when Yahweh Shai said that. All right, that generation would have to come back in the regeneration, re meaning again, they would have to be back in the genes again. All right, the genes of their forefathers coming back through the, through the same lineage, reincarnation, they would have to come back all right, for the things that were written all right, to, to, to fulfill themselves. So going back to St. Luke 17, verse 25, because that goes into how the Son of Man will come like it was in the days of uh, Noah, the days of Lot. But this is St. Luke 17, verse 25. We'll start at 24. For as the lightning that lightning lighteneth out of the one part under heaven, shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. All right, so that same perverse, adulterous, wicked generation, which we see today all over TikTok and YouTube and world star hip hop, they're back and they're doing what? They're rejecting Yahweh Shah all over again. All right, and this time they're rejecting him through his servants, those that the most that uh, Yahweh Shah prayed to the most high for in John the 17th chapter. See that? So Luke 20 and 17, and he beheld them and said, what is it? Is What is this then that is written? The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. See, Yahweh Shai is the head. He is our head pursuant to 1 Corinthians 11 chapter. Be ye followers of me as I am of a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right. The order being the most high, Yahweh Shai, then his men, then the women. See, but most people are rejecting that 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 chief cornerstone, which again is Yahweh Shai. Let's look up the word rejected, and that'll be it, man. So, you know, we're supposed to be rejected, man. It's, it's, it's written because we're going through the same walk that Yahweh Shah went through because we're tied into him, Lord will. Reject, all right, to eject, to set aside, to block from inheritance. Mm. Yeah, and, and whew, it says uh, thrown away, cast away, vomit, to throw back. Yeah. And, and, and see, the Lord is rejected. They, they throw him away. Here it is. We're presenting to you the, the way of salvation. All right. Receive with meekness. They, they engraft the word which is able to save your souls. And they're saying, no, no, thank you. We don't want it. Uh, There's a scripture that, that mentions um, the hand, uh, you know, turning the hand away. I forgot where that's at, but that's exactly what's happening. They, they're turning the hand. They're turning their opportunity of salvation away. So they're not going to be saved, you know what I'm saying? Because they, again, they're rejecting, all right? They're, they're rejecting the spirit of Yahweh Shah, which is permeating through us, all right? So this is right on cue. It has to happen. You know, this is, um, and when you look at the timeline, it was like the gospel went out, all right? The the, the wicked amongst our people rejected it. Yahweh Shah was persecuted. He was resurrected, and he received glory, you know, being ascended up into the right hand of the Father. So us... You know, we here. We got the spirit of the Lord on us. We put, we pushing this, this message, this gospel. People are rejecting. We see persecutions right around the corner. Guess what? Before honor is humility. So the, the persecution is about to come. And then guess what? We're gonna get that glory too. And I'm gonna go ahead and close with that Romans eight, since I mentioned that, because you know these things are written to keep us strong and keep us in the right spirit, so we can you know endure. This is Romans eight. 16 the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of god and if children then heirs Woo! let's read that again and if children then heirs and what did that definition of reject says reject says to set aside to block from inheritance mm. so those that are rejecting this message they're they're blocking their own inheritance man even though they're israelites and they're gonna get it anyway but they're rejecting it they're blocking from getting it on this side, man. That's heavy. That's heavy. Verse 17, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. See, the heirs that are predestined to get it on this side, they're not going to reject Yahweh Shah. They're not going to reject this. They get it. It says, if so be that we, we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. See, part of part of Yahweh Shah Mashiach's sufferings was that he was being despised and rejected amongst his own people set up betrayed by his own people man verse 18 for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us so the glory is coming all right stay strong hold on we almost home 
All praise to Yahweh Shemel. Shah prayer was there to find lesson. Shalom.